Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Sergeant back with some more Allow gameplay. I am versus Team on the top. I'm sure you like to be to subscribe to the channel and check out coaching in the description down below if you're interested. Uh, Teemo is a matchup. I've actually done a little bit of a switch up in my strategy lately versus Teemo, and I find it's been working quite effectively. I'm gonna go for some early grass procs here when I can. Ping that ward. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so, so the core versus Teemo is gonna be Doran Shield second win. Let's see if I can get another grass proc. You see the grass procs do work? Oh. It's all right. Even that's like okay trade. Um, but yeah, the really the core is second win in Doran Shield. The reason for that is that the dot from Teemo keeps continually ticking the regenerative health on both of those uh, rune and item. And so you end up just getting a lot of effective health throughout the, throughout the lane. And you see I'm going for some grass procs to create some pressure. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to actually rush Spectre's Cow into a Spirit Visage. It's a very defensive oriented uh, setup, but it, it kind of goes along with the same strategy of like, you get Spectre's Cow, now you've got Doran Shield, Spectre's Cow, and Second Win. Gotta go for the E there, just kind of not quite, not quite it. But those three together, what you're trying to do is you're trying to not let yourself get too low by going all of these like regenerative health uh, runes and items so that they can never really dive you or kill you because this is a losing matchup. So if we can just kind of keep it even, go 50 50, then it's really effective. And if we never let Timo get a lead, then he he never gets strong enough to really take us out. Beautiful either. Oh, I need to kill the spirit. I'm gonna commit for it. Yeah, it's not good though. Yeah, get out. Whew. Oh, he almost got killed though. But you see, like all this regenerative health, like 111 health from second win, probably a similar amount from Doran Shield, keeping me alive here. It was very all in. Nocturne's nearby. Hopefully, it'll come help. Hey, let's go. Uh, really, really lucky there. <laughs> he, uh, he, you know, got caught trolling. You see Leedson was nearby. And this is actually why I don't like to get too low uh, versus team modes. Because anytime you get low, you take bad trades. In these losing matchups, it just opens yourself up to getting dope. Look at there, I had Nocturne nearby and Teemo kind of trolled. So, it's all good. This isn't my main account, too. This isn't like Smurfing. This is Challenger. Um, even though that looked really troll fight by Teemo. But when people start, when you start getting really low, like people will start kind of trolling. Like even in higher elo, you can kind of use that to your advantage. It's something I do on Allow a lot. You'll see me stay in lane with like, you know, a couple hundred HP. Because people change how they play when you get really low because they want that kill. You know, you might even notice yourself doing that. You might notice that when, you, when the enemy gets low, you get really anxious and really, like, you really start pushing for that kill. It actually opens yourself up to uh, playing in a way that can can get yourself caught. So you, you, can, you can use that same idea to uh, against other people. You know, there I got low. Timo felt like he needed to get the kill on me because I was a big wave crashing, and it's a big payoff if he does kill me. And, you know, that's takes a turret shot. Uh, I sustained myself third Q, second one door and shield, and it's, it's over, right? <laughs> Here we don't need to do too much. Just try to Q some minions and just kind of wait for the wave to crash into us. There's just no reason to take any risk right now. My, my jungler, look at my jungler, is bot side. We don't know where Lee Sin is. I'm going to try to eat here. Sometimes they'll like kind of walk down towards that tentacle as the wave's crashing in. And it opens them up to an E angle, but Seema didn't go for it. Seeing a lot of damage, but we got some, we got potion. Magic resist just, uh, another reason for Spectre's Cow is magic resist is going to do a lot to shut this team out. Beautiful. Notice my, my range W does uh, proc tentacle slams, so it's important that you're using your range W when you're blinded if you want to get that proc. Gonna push out. We're about to be level 6. Just gonna push out. See Singe mid. Just, this is a good time to look at the minimap. It looks like he actually backed. I didn't know if he backed or not. I was kind of like... I thought he might be trying to cheese me. Team as will do that, but... Looks like this guy actually reset. So I'm just gonna push in now. Get the full push. That's gonna the pull push push in is important. It's gonna bounce the way back so we can reset. Um Timo won't be able to push and deny us anything. We're just gonna get boots here. Boots is really important just with auto spacing versus range champions. We're not gonna lose the plate, I think, which is good. And yeah. This next wave is gonna crash under turret, it's gonna bounce back into us, and then we can kind of collect all the minions. You see we're up 11 CS, we're up a kill now in this like bad matchup. I mean, that's really, really good. We like that. And this is like, this is winning in this matchup, right? 
people a lot of people don't understand like winning versus an Orn looks a lot different than winning versus a Teemo. You know, versus an Orn or a, a Nautilus or something like this, some tanky champion. Winning is like being up like two to three kills, like not not at this point, but after you know a few few you know six through eight after you get a few minutes of your ult being up. But versus Teemo it looks a lot different. But, you know, if you go even versus Teemo, that's winning. Kind of trolling there a little bit. Dude. But look how much, like, he, he did so much. He used so much mana, so many auto attacks, and just look at my health. <laughs> look at my health again. Just regen him back. Protector's Cow's gonna, anytime we take damage, we're gonna regenerate health. Very similar to Dorn Shield. Just like that, even though we took all that damage, we're, we're just right back at it. We wanna dodge these, like, he's gonna keep trying to clear waves with the ult. Uh, shrimps, we just want to keep dodging out and I can hit by the AoE. This is dude, it's so annoying. You miss E and they just like pop ghost. Like, He's dude, relax. I could have just ran away there. I think I should have. I felt I felt pressured. So I felt like maybe if he walks too far into me and I can get the ult tentacle, you know, I can W back onto him and maybe turn it. But I should have just ran away. Next time I'll just run, run away. Sorry, my cat's going crazy. Alright. We got uh, a teleport up. Try to land an E here? I, eh, no, he's not gonna let me have it. I think you have to play it, whatever. <laughs> Annoying. Yeah, I don't mind trading just because I, I you, every time you auto text me, I don't lose that much health. I did a EW there. Uh, EW is you can cast both of the abilities for 35 mana. If you cast E and then as it's casting, you press W. You can cast W while you're casting your other abilities. You're going to keep seeing me do that. Just try to like leverage as much mana as I can. Oh, never mind. Now I can, now you can just Q and then EW. Or w here, yeah. The level give me a good bit of mana. Get out of the shroom range. <laughs> I gotta maybe tank that shroom, but it's whatever. Hello. I'm pretty healthy. There's no way they died, man. I'm kind of. I'm trying to keep vision on this team. A Nocturne has ult like very, very, very soon. I'm not sure how soon it is, but that's not gonna be up in time. That sucks. I mean, that's a pretty free kill if Nocturne can get the ult off. Tima should probably reset here. So I'm just gonna push quick and then I'll reset myself and get my Spectre's Cow or uh, my Spirit Visage. I'll get the plate too. I'm gonna see if Teemo is just like, tr like trying to cheese me or anything by walking up with Sweeper. You do wanna get Sweeper on first back versus Teemo for sure, because by the time you get level 6, you want that Sweeper up. And it just lets you check for like little cheeky plays that Teemo's will do like that. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, 81 CS at 10 minutes, it's not bad at all. You know, I'm going to get my Spirit Vistage here, I think. I think it's 1650 or... Do I need 1650 or 1600? I wait, I wait. We'll teleport back. We need about... We need to wait until about 841, 842. Yeah. 843 is just, like, really make sure we're good. Yeah. It's a good thing we waited. I was close. Okay, all good. Now it's just so hard. Like, Teemo just hitting us is just, like, basically, you know, we, we almost regenerate more health from uh, all the stuff we have. You will be that we're trying to do. We're just trying to be, we're trying to, trying to shut down Teemo. This is a very, like, defensive play style. I think there's a lot to be said, and there's a lot of depth uh, in late that people don't talk about as far as like offensive and defensive play styles. I'm gonna go for the demolish proc here. This is a great day. Ah. Actually, I'm not even sure if I got that demolish proc. Yeah, here, especially with Sphere Vistage now, I'm so tanky. Like, okay, let's try to turn this, maybe. No. I need to up. Oh, you don't want to do that, my friend. Oh, okay, maybe you do. <laughs> Alright. 
yeah, again there. Like this time, I made sure not to like ult and freak out. Oh, we might have a fight going here. We got people coming up river. I need to like land and eat pretty badly, and I need to play up into these tentacles. Play up, 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 up. Come, come, come. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Alright, we need to kite this out and heal as much as we can. You coming up? Let's go, baby! Oh my god, Echo. Dude, Spear of Vestage paid dividends there. Kept me alive so long with all that increased healing. Uh, mitigating a lot of damage from... From Teemo, from Nico, from Singe. Like, that's another reason Spear of Vestage is good here. They have AP mid, you know, that's roam heavy. They've got the AP support who can roam. So, just well played. Just stalling out. And getting up to those bushes, always positioning around as many tentacles as I can there. So I'm, I'm cutting away from Singe, I'm eating under the two tentacles, and then I'm ulting and, uh, you know, just starting to kite out. So Because like, you're really low. When you're really low, you know, you're trying to, like, kite just to minimize damage while optimizing for healing. That's what you're looking to do. Here, I'm going to recall between two tentacles. That way, if he walks up, I can EM. Like, I have a lot of gold. Yeah. Loop. Merc treads are really good. I'm gonna rush into a spirit decision next. Beautiful. I mean, just beautifully done there. That's a game. That's a game winner. Like, you know. I mean, that just destroys their mental. They send four people top in a four v two, and they got three man counter killed. Like, it's it's pretty Jover, you know. Should run back top. Uh, yeah. Now we're four zero. We're up twenty CS against the team at top. Take that all day. Really happy with that. The downside of Spirit Vestige is you have like no damage. You miss some CS sometimes. If I can get on top of him here. Yeah, ah, minion. Oh. Oh, that's alright. Let's get the Spirit Vestige or uh, the Grass Proc. Yeah, I mean, also like Spirit Vestige helps with grass healing. Uh, helps with, I think it helps with second wind healing. I mean, look how much second wind is done. 800 healing. It's so much. It's so important to sustaining in this lane. Oh, you're done. Let's go. Yeah, you can't just get into melee range like that. And again, the Spear Visage, the defensive item, it buys me time. You know, Teemo wants to, to rush me down. Um, which he can do if he's got a gold lead and I, if I go offensive items. But because I go def when you go defensive items, you just have more time to set up your plays. You have a lot more setup as a Lowry than other champions. I'm going to rotate over try to help out here. Oh, not quite, not quite able to reach. Use that ward to try to W hop a little bit and get closer. Oh, I'm not gonna get in range. I get the experience at least. It's not much, but it's honest work. So we'll just head back top. We have so much regen, we can just go catch top lane. We don't have to use our teleport. We, the 1600 gold, we might as well just hang out in lane until we get a hole breaker, which is 1900 gold. So we're really close to that. Hello, my friend. Oh my god, it's so, it hurts so. Oh, okay. GG. Nice. Let's go. Just like that. I mean, that, that, like, honestly, that 4v2 is just mental boom, them. Like, that's all it took. You know? And, and top was supposed to be their strong point. They got the counter pick in top lane. You know, you're, they're supposed to be able to play into that. Even Lee Sen came top a few times. But there's just never an opening there. And a lot of that because I, I kept myself healthy. I didn't let Teemo get any uh, cheeky kills on me. Just snowball. And then I, I played defensively. And, you know, I turned the game when I needed to. Well done. I hope you enjoyed. Sure, like to be to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to get back to posting daily videos, you know, as I do. I'm thinking maybe I might re might react to a Tyler 1 Alara game here in, later today. Maybe I'll do that and upload it. That would be a lot of fun. 824 LP. Not bad at all. Pretty good damage. As always, I like to look at the gold graphs, check that out. See where we like really, I mean, I know where we got the lead, right? We got the lead when we got the triple kill, but even before that, I think we had a little bit of a gold lead. Uh, overview. Yeah, it's re yeah, it was really was that. Nice. 
Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.